Hello everyone, today we will go over the Salter-Harris classification for epiphyseal plate or growth plate fractures. As we work through each type, I will go over the common Salter acronym used to remember each, but at the end I will go over another acronym that I have learned while shadowing in pediatric orthopedics that I think is a great addition. So to start, there are five types. Beginning with type 1, this is the so-called slipped fracture. This involves a fracture directly through the hypertrophic zone of the epiphyseal plate and involves no cortex and is the least worrisome of all of them. A type 2 fracture, which is the above fracture, involves a fracture extending into the metaphysis and is the most common of all of the five. A type 3 fracture, which is the so-called low fracture, involves extension into the epiphysis below the growth plate. Type 4 is the through fracture and involves a fracture line that extends both above and below the growth plate, involving the epiphysis and metaphysis. Lastly, type 5 is due to a compressive fracture of the growth plate that leads to the so-called ruin title as the growth plate is crushed and is the most concerning of all of them. Now, the second acronym I was referring to in the beginning of the video is used to remember types 2, 3, and 4 in more detail. Types 1 and 5 are left out of this acronym because it is typically easy to remember that they both involve the growth plate and only differ in the severity with type 5 being, of course, a crush injury. The acronym is called MEB, M-E-B, with it standing for metaphysis, epiphysis, and both. The reason I think this is useful is because let's say you are looking at this fracture to the proximal aspect of the tibia as seen here in this example. If your attending were to ask you what type is this, you will stop and think Salter, it goes low, so you might think type 3, or perhaps you will correctly catch on to the fact that this is a flipped view since Salter is based on looking at a distal fracture of a long bone and so you will be able to recognize that this is actually equivalent to the above direction and thus this is a type 2. Either way, I think immediately thinking low or above will just slow down your thinking process and your response time. Ask me how I know this. So instead, you could look at this and see that it involves the metaphysis, M-E-B, so of course this would be type 2. Anyways, this is just something that I learned while on rotation that I think would have been great to learn sooner. Alrighty, that is all for this video. See you on the next one.